When building your lineup for floor 30, choosing what attackers to bring is a very important step. Here I'll go over 3 attackers that I would very highly recommend to use on the stage. Swimmer, or Fishman, Maglev, and Manic Island. Starting at level 39, 34 for Fishman, Swimmer is able to survive a hit from Hermit. This is extremely important. If your Swimmer doesn't survive a hit, you shouldn't use it. Swimmer can be used to chip down or finish off peons, as he can't kill them on his own. The only notable kill setup with him is using Maglev or Musashi, and then Swimmer on a peon. Depending on your Swimmer level, true form status, and combo usage, Swimmer might need one or two hits to finish off peons. Swimmer is also amazing for one thing in 430, chipping. Having a decently short cooldown and fast speed, and always hitting Hermit twice, Swimmer makes an immense difference if you use him to chip frequently throughout the battle, and it makes the stage a lot faster to clear than just using Awakened Bahamut and Musashi for damage against the boss. Manic Island has the shortest cooldown out of the three units here. It's also the slowest, though its speed of 13 is generally good enough to allow for lenient timings. Manic Island is here mostly to counter Snitch, as it can kill it in only two hits. However, this requires Manic Island to be level 40, level 34 with attack up small, and level 31 with cool Japan. If yours isn't level enough to kill Snitch in two hits, bring it anyways. Two hits will still cripple Snitch and you can finish it off with another unit afterwards. Island can also tank Snitch without a problem. Island deals fairly low damage to Doge, and you generally should not pit them against one another, unless Doge is at your base and you need to shake him off quickly. However, Musashi and Manic Island will kill Dark Doge if you use Cool Japan, even at level 30. Some notable kill setups with Manic Island are Musashi or Maglev, then Manic Island on Snitch, Manic Island and then Swimmer on Snitch, which might need two Swimmer hits, Manic Island hitting Snitch twice, and Musashi and Manic Island on Doge, which requires Cool Japan. What about using Manic Island to chip? Since a Manic Island hit is about one third of a Musashi hit, and Manic Island generally only hits Hermit once per life, it can mess up your calculations. However, Manic Island has short cooldown, which is good for this, so use it as you will. Due to Manic Island's speed, it and Hermit will always hit each other on the same frame, unless Hermit is very close to the base, in which case Island might hit first. Maglev is the perfect peon killer. Fast, high damage per hit, instant attack, double catch. However, its cooldown is fairly long. For this reason, it is important that you resist the urge to use Maglev for every single peon wave. It's quick and easy, yes, but also risky, as you're exposing yourself to an upcoming potentially dangerous peon wave without Maglev to back you up. This applies to other units as well, and this is very important. Avoid spawning extra units when another unit that's already deployed can finish the job in its place. This can be difficult to do at first, but the more you play the floor, the easier it is this gets. For the reasons I just listed, using Maglev for chip damage is not advisable, except during the start-off. Maglev is not able to kill peons in a single hit. Similarly to Musashi though, he leaves them at low health, allowing your other attackers to finish them off easily. Maglev doesn't really have any notable kill setups per se, but using him coupled with mostly anything else will usually kill peons. If your Maglev is at level 45, or Bullet Train at 33, he can tank away from Hermit. This means you can send him through a wave to deal with the badly timed peon, but it also means you risk triggering Hermit's third wave. Not to mention the double wave if Hermit hits Maglev when he's at full health. Here's a summary of the important points you should keep in mind. Swimmer is best for chipping Hermit and kill assists on single peons. Manic Island is best to deal with Snitch. Maglev is a panic button you should only use when you really need it. 